Hey Profit Takers, it's Victoria here and we are back with another video and today we are going to um, learn how to trade the three high of week or three low of week. Um, I'm going to show you how you can expect, um, what you can expect rather, um, whether it's going to be a continuation or is it going to be a reversal setup. So. If this particular setup, if this one becomes one of your favorite, then this is how you would trade it, right? So here we go. All right, so we're gonna, first things first, right? You know, we're gonna just kind of go through the characteristics of what we're looking for here. So again, th these are trades that are three days from the peak high or the peak low, okay? Um, or low of week or high of week, however you want to define that. It all means the same thing. Okay. So, um, what we're going to look for here, cause when we come to the, to the charts, the day of the three L O W H O W, right. When we come to the charts, we're looking for one or two things here. Okay. So if we are expecting a reversal on that, on that particular day, we want to look back and see, did the market break out three pushes, right? Was there three pushes from the previous day, high or low? Um, do we have a W pattern, right? From the previous day, right? Because that typically could be a W, um, within a W pattern, meaning that W formed there and it made a low. And then the next day, um, we're expecting for that low to to be held, right? For that peak to be locked in, right? So you're looking for that. And one thing to note is not every time, you're not always gonna see 380R. It's it's not a requirement, but it is nice to have on the chart because oftentimes it does, price does hit 380R, but we know that that's just an average range and it's not always going to eventuate, okay? Um, but we definitely must see some, you know, we have to see the previous day break out. Like it has to be taken out. <laughs> okay. We want to see three of them and we definitely want to see price hit the low. Maybe that forms the first leg of the W pattern, or maybe it's a W pattern. And then the next day it's a W within a W, if that makes sense. We have, I do have an example to share. And if it's a trend continuation, then we'll typically only see two pushes, right? Or two breakouts from the previous day, high or low. Okay. And then also if the price retests, if you notice that it's been ranging for a couple of days, it could range for two days or it can range for three days and prices hit a certain area two or three times. I just look at that as starting the count over again. And I do have an example for that as well. And another popular pattern you guys will see is that EKG pattern. And that's when price hits the high and low. It's kind of like a clearing of the board, if you will. But that also can let me know that price is continuing on that next day, right? For my continuations. All right, so let's get into some examples. Okay, so in this example, guys, we have, um, we're coming to the chart, right? It's basically, you know, it's already telling me it's a three, right? And what, I, what I've noticed here so far, there's two hits to the low, okay? So when I see that it attempted to break out and it failed here, then we're going to start this as one. And then we're going to go with, uh, we're going to, you know, the next day you'll see two because you can see the previous day marker here. It was hit. It did not continue to fall. So we continue to break out. And then on the third day, you can see nice and clearly that it was also taken out, right? That previous day high was taken out. Price got to the high and then that's where the breakout failed. So this is the reversal trade that you would have taken on that day. So when you see that this is there, then this is the trade that you would have taken. Okay. Um, and as you can see how it did work out here, um, it ended up the, the actual trend actually changed. Sometimes the trend, um, it just resets. Sometimes it actually changed, right? Okay. So that's one. Let's go look at another one. All right. So again, we are looking at the breakouts guys. So the first things first, you know, we, we want to see the three days, right? From the peak high. And the one thing also, 
It is three days from the new peak because technically it's count one, two, and three, but you really want to count it as one, two, three, four. We're really in day four and that's why I have day four written up here just so you know. Okay. So we're really in day four and what do we have here on the first day of the peak? We had the breakout that failed. So we count that as one. And then Wednesday, nothing really happened. So we're just going to go over to Thursday and just, I'm just going to put the two here because this, again, this is like that EK pattern, but it didn't technically go all the way up, but it did take out the previous day. Okay. So take it, meaning seeing that it did take out the previous day's low, then I'm expecting this thing to continue. Okay. Definitely expecting it to continue. And my thesis is it's not going to, um, it's going to get resistance from this area because now we're going to be here, what, the third time, if you will. So there's one hit and then there's another hit. So we're expecting another one. So as you can see here, um, it did not break out from the previous day high. It actually got resistance and then we got that continuation trade that we were expecting. So now we're just waiting for the um, the market or the, the dash to um, to update. Right, I'm thinking it's gonna go ahead and it's either gonna reset. I think it's gonna reset, but we'll wait and see what it's gonna look like, okay? All right, so let's look at another one. Okay, so this one, beautiful setup. I love these type of setups because they're so clear, okay? So the new peak day here, we can see clearly we had the breakout, so that's one. Another breakout here, two, okay? And we're going by it breaking out the low because that's what we want it to do. We want it to break out the previous day low. So that's two, okay, that, that worked out beautifully. And then on Thursday, we had that third breakout, okay, it took this low out and it also formed a low. We got a peak in place and it also gave us, you know, a, a W pattern, right? So I'm expecting this to reverse based on what happened here with these three days. And so now we're on Friday and we can see clearly that it did confirm that we are now in a new peak low because um, this was in place. And again, we had the three previous breakouts. And so now we have reset and we are going to be long. Okay. All right. I think we have one more here. And this one is a little different. Only because I marked this one as zero just because it did not necessarily break out the previous day high, right? It was one of those resets. So I just marked that as a zero. And then I started my count here um, because it did take it out, take out the previous day. And then Thursday, we had a, an EKG pattern, a clearing of the board, if you will. So with that, um, it took out the previous day. So I just, I counted that as a two as well. And on Friday, I expected the continuation because one, we were, price was already in the box and I counted those three previous day lows being taken out and I was expecting the continuation and that's what we got. And this one just happened to, um, get close to the three ADR. It didn't touch it. You know, it kind of got close to the end of the day there. It didn't quite touch it, but it got close, right? Sometimes you'll see that. All right. So that right there, um, those were real time trades that happened this week. So you can see that if this is going to be one of the trades that you look for on the dash, this is how you're going to trade them. And this is how you're going to know whether or not you should look for a reversal or if you look or if you should look for a trend continuation. So thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.